Well, time to bring this unboxing compilation video back. I believe this is gonna be version seven, maybe even version eight, I'm not even sure. But I've been making these compilation videos since like 2018, so here's the next version of it. eBay package. Oh, this is something I didn't even know existed until I saw it. But definitely a uh, unique piece that I wanted to add. There you go. 2004 Eastern Conference Champions Tampa Bay Lightning hat. And here's the actual Stanley Cup Champions hat. See on the side, it's both got the Stanley Cup patch. Even got the stickers on it. Just a comparison of the two. 2004, 2020. I don't have 2015 um, and I don't really care for 2015. There's that. I will see you when the next package gets here. All right, just got a package in the mail here and I ordered it like two nights ago. I think this is the fastest Fanatics has ever gotten me merch. Oh boy. I don't know why they send these meal kits $80 off. Oh baby, baby, here we go. Here it is. The Stanley Cup Champions Lightning Hoodie. I had always planned on getting this. I wanted to wait a little bit but they only had one left in my size and it's been a while since the lightning won the cup like almost two months now so i highly doubt the restocking on these so i just i had to i had to cop it had to get the last one in my size yeah for some reason the lightning one just feels different even though they're both fanatics brand. yo this is like really for some reason this is like a lot more comfortable than most of these damn fanatics on the a plus shit today huh Weird. All right, there's that. Glad to get this one out of the way. My first and probably only Stanley Cup Champions hoodie. I don't wear a whole lot of hoodies in Florida, but uh, this time of year, as I'm recording this, this is like mid-November, so it starts to get a little bit cold. Then I wear them a little bit more often. See you when the next package gets here. Hey now, y'all, it's your boy Chiefs Rays Bolts. All right, so I just got back from one of the Drip headquarters, AKA Tampa Bay Sports Store, and I went there for one reason only. I already knew what I was gonna get. It's a shirt that I've been wanting since the night I first saw it. It released like a day or two after the Lightning won the cup. I was just waiting for the right time to buy it, and here it is. Yeah, this one's sick. It's got the two times champions right there, pretty big. And what I like about this is it has the old school logo on it. When do you ever see merch with the old school logo on it? Like never. So there it is, 2004 champions, and they use the old logo. That is cool as hell. And then you have the 2020 with the current logo, obviously. So there you go, there's those two. It just kind of shows you who the Lightning were when they won the different cups. So I just love that feature. And it's something that you'd only see at the Tampa Bay Sports Store. Fanatics, they don't give a fuck about old school logos and especially for hockey. So, you know, there's that. This is the little design there. Oh, but wait, wait, we don't stop there. You know, I had to get another hat too. Look at this. Fanatics released like hardly any hats when the Lightning won the cup. Now, right now I only have two of them besides this one. I, well, technically that's a cup final on the conference champions. Then you have that one, you can't see it, but there's a finals patch on the other side. And then there's the on ice Stanley Cup champions. These are the only two cup hats that I had, if you don't count the conference champions one. And now here is another one and probably the last one I get. There was hardly any of a selection, but this one was too nice to pass up. So there was that and it went great with this shirt in particular. And uh, on eBay yesterday, I ordered a pennant finally. I have that Chiefs pennant right there. I have another one right here. And then I have a third one right there there, but I don't have any Lightning Champions pennants, so I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put the one that's coming, and right now that one's in the mail, but you will see it right now. There it is. Stanley Cup Champions. Tampa Bay Lightning pennant. I'll put this somewhere, but that is sweet. I just received this on December 1st of 2020. Also today, December 1st, 2020, the Tampa Bay Lightning Reverse Retro Jerseys drop in stores online and in person. So pretty soon here, I'm gonna go drive to Emily Arena and pick up my Reverse Retro Jersey. I'm very stoked for that. You'll see that right now. Yeah. All right, just got back. Sheesh. Just look at this thing. Pure ice. I mean, what can I say? This is just badass. We'll do a little comparison here. Here is the original black jersey, the one that was, uh, the one that this reverse retro was based off of. You just see they uh, pretty much, all they did was invert the colors. Love the old school blacks. I think they are dope as hell, but look at these things. I did not get a name on the back because I feel like it's just one of those jerseys where it's better 
without the name. You got the, the Florida patch here. Here you go, you can see the crest patch here. Here's the patch, you can also see that it's shiny. I'm excited for this one. Now, let's go ahead and see what's inside because I have no idea what it is, even though I bought it. Only one of these left in my size and these don't get listed very often on Fanatics, so I hurried up and swooped it. Sheesh, man, it's Jersey week, baby. I just got this the other day, reverse retro. So like four days after I get my reverse retro jersey, this this sexy beast comes in. Oh my. Sheesh. Look at that. Wow, 87, baby. Travis Kelsey, I had to, I had to. Four Patrick Mahomes jerseys. I gotta get somebody else at some point, man, right? So, you know, Kelsey's been one of my favorite players for a couple years now. Best tight end in the league, no doubt about it. There is nothing more satisfying on this entire planet than opening a brand new jersey and wearing it, like, for the first time. It's so satisfying. I'm so glad I got this. All right, I'll see you when the next package gets here. All right, man, what's up? I just got back from Kansas City, went to the Sunday night game versus the Broncos. Boring-ass game, but other than that, you know, first time at Arrowhead since January, they had some merch and some merch that I had never seen before, so I had to cop at least one thing, and that's exactly what I did. Let's just get right into it. So, this is what I got. This is a 47 brand Super Bowl 54 champions hat. And look, this is so cool. It's got the Super Bowl logo right there. And they were on sale, which is the greatest part about it. Because they had such great deals on the hats, went ahead and picked up a couple for my boys, Tyler and Colin. So, this is uh, the one that I got for Tyler here. This was the Media Night hat. And it's got the 100 Seasons patch, Super Bowl 54 patch right there. So, yeah, good shit. There you go, Tyler. And then uh, for my boy Colin, they had this one here. You know, it is, it is cool. So, there it is, Super Bowl LIV and big there, Chiefs logo. It's gray and black two-tone. On the back, you have Miami. Cool hat. Enjoy that one, Colin. And uh, lastly, bro, had to get it. I had to, bro. <laughs> like 10 bucks, but I don't even care. There you go. Chiefs sunglasses, so there's that. When I came home today, I came home to some boxes. So let's get into those. The first one here is not sports related at all. In fact, this is from a company called Manscaped. No, I am not about to open a product that is used for shaving balls. That would not suit this channel at all. But uh, for the hell of it, I thought, you know, why not show it? Uh, <laughs> so Manscaped is so funny, dude. They, their product names, first of all, their products, very reliable. I recommend them off the record, but on top of that, their product names are hella funny to like the lawnmower, the weed whacker, you know what I mean? You know, just, just silly names, but. On Cyber Monday, love Cyber Monday, Manscaped had 25, 30% off all items, plus free shipping, no minimum purchase needed. So I went ahead and got the cheapest item they had, the Man Mints. I'm gonna go ahead and actually do a taste test on one of these. $3, free shipping. Manscaped probably losing money on that. Here we go, let's just go ahead and open this thing. Can't believe this is going into my, oh shit, that's a lot. I didn't realize I'd be getting that many for $3. All right, taste test time. I don't know what you want me to say. It's a fucking mint. It's from Manscaped, so it makes it that much better. All right, here's the uh, last bag. I know I said packages, but really I just came out to a couple envelopes. But Got this from eBay a few days ago. Super Bowl champions, front plate. Just to recap, I don't make a good thumbnail. So, um, uh, Christmas is coming up. Everybody's getting some merch at some point. Everybody's like wanting to spend more money than usual. So that's probably going to happen with me. So I will see you when I get something again. All right. How's it going? Back with another one, bro. <laughs> when Fanatics dropped the reverse retro collection, I had to get a couple things. So this is the first thing. Uh, it's the only thing that came today. So I'll get some more eventually, but let's just go ahead and get over this one. Had to throw on the reverse retro jersey just to like, you know, side by side it or whatever. Look at that, first retro. You can see the bill of the hat, or the brim, it is supposed to be the same as the jersey pattern. So you can see how it goes white to black right there. Cool how they did that. And then the main logo there. So it's, it's always been a struggle for me to find hats like this with the old logo. But now that they're doing this whole reverse retro thing, I don't have to go on eBay to find this. I can just buy it from Fanatics. It's about damn time, that's what I say. This is one of two hats they made for the reverse retro. The other hat is a snapback flat brim. I don't own a single flat brim snapback hat in my entire hat collection. I just, I don't have one because 
I don't like them. But I did want to get this one, because you can see it's normal. It was really cool seeing uh, Fanatics do this old stuff. Here's the back of it. it, has the NHL logo, and then Lightning. I wish they would have done like the actual wordmark font, but you know, it works. Oh, what the hell? Look at this Velcro, it's like, see how it's like reflecting? It's weird. Look at that, that's just sick, man. But yeah, the blue is like a bit lighter than the jersey blue, but I'm not complaining. I'll see you when the next package gets here. First things first, no, I did not buy this. This was a stadium giveaway. Why the hell would I buy something that isn't Chiefs? But you know, it is cool. It's got the Dolphins logo, which I've always been a huge fan of. Uh, I don't really know about the entire shirt being orange but you know it's still cool it's an extra large so you know even if i wanted to wear it even on opposite day I, it still wouldn't fit me because i'm not lizzo but you know i've been given a lot of stadium giveaway shirts of teams that aren't mine i just kind of pile them up in a bag and just let them be because i never wear them but there's this but the real merch cop of the trip this is cool all right hard rock stadium okay miami gardens look and the best part about this it's 47 brand uh, i've talked about it before 47 brand is the most comfortable sportswear and i prefer them over any other brand to wear it's just extremely comfortable to wear but you know i mean what is sick about this right is because it's not dolphins right so i'm not repping something that isn't the cheap Hey, how's it going? New package just came here. Let's go ahead and see what's inside because really I don't have any idea. It's not like I ordered it or anything. So let's let's take a look at what's inside. Wow. Excited for this one. Oh man. Oh jeez. Alright, this is reverse retro special edition t-shirt. Not just any t-shirt though. This is one of those dry fits. Not, it's not a Nike dry fit, but you know, it's got that like material, you know, the really comfortable like workout stuff. What even is this? Yeah, 100% polyester basically. I do play street hockey, you know, time and time again. So this will be the perfect shirt to wear, you know what I mean? Cause it's like super hella hot in Florida. So, you know, the dry fit type shirt, that's gonna be sweet as hell here. Nothing on the back. And then on the uh, sleeve here, you have the reverse retro logo and the Adidas logo. And that is that for this shirt. There you go. See you when the next package gets here. All right, small package. Don't really, I don't know, let's soap it. 20% off. Any wine vouchers? Yes. Wine voucher. Yes. Oh, I'll do a fucking All right, first one up, this is, uh, this is for you, Tyler. Happy three month late birthday. You're such a great friend, right? Anyways, 2019 Conference Champions Super Bowl t-shirt. It's actually cool. It has all the uh has the roster of the Chiefs on the back. Enjoy that time. So I got one for myself. So here it is. This is the parade t-shirt. Chiefs parade t-shirt. And the thing is, it was so damn cold in Kansas City the day of the parade that I don't think any of the players actually wore it. And if they did, it was under all their 17 layers of clothes. So, I, you know, during the parade, I didn't see anybody wear this, but, you know, it was given to the players for the parade, so. It's cool. It's got the Lombardi trophy, and, and uh, yeah, it's just cool to add to the collection, you know? Parade t-shirt, you know what I mean? Super Bowl logo there, Chiefs logo there. Nothing on the back, but that's it for that package. See you when the next one gets here. What's up, baby? Shit, we back out here, all right? We're back with another package. Another one from Fanatics. Bro, I don't even know at this point. I'm ordering so much shit off of Fanatics, man. It's almost the holidays. Actually, it is the holidays. You got like four days until Christmas. So, merch coming in loud and proud, baby. Ordered this a while back. Just now getting it. $30 off an in-club purchase when you join Sam's Club. I, I'm already a part of Sam's Club, so fuck you. Oh, this is actually gonna be fucking awesome. You can see Stamkos right there. But what did I get of Stamkos? Let's find out, because I don't really know what the rest of the shirt has on it because, it, you know, it's not like I ordered it or anything. Okay, let's just get into this. Hey, yo! I had to. Part of the reverse retro merch drop, you know what I mean? The special edition. Yeah, this dropped and I was like, bro, I'm copping. Uh, this is the only player that they had available with this logo, so I didn't really have a choice, but I'll take it, man. Cause like for a long, long time, you know, Fanatics does this with every single sports team in, in America. They have, they have the logo and they have the player on the back. Same shirt design, everything. Just, you know, it's different with all the different teams' logos, right? But they've never, ever made lightning throwback. Look, let me just tell you what, the NHL is like the least popular of the four major sports in America, so the merch 
is nowhere near as you know selective there's not much of a variety as opposed to the other sports so you rarely rarely see throwback stuff being sold anywhere period but thankfully because of the reverse retro happening and all that they have retro stuff coming out and this is you know the reverse retro t-shirt that is so sick so stoked about that ahoy there matey new package just arrived 10 hours ago but i kind of forgot that i had it so here we are that's something that i wanted for a while and it sold out my size and then i guess somebody returned one and one came back up in stock so i grabbed it it was actually the last one you know i'm pretty good at getting the last one of things but you know but you know gotta do what you gotta do one of these days i'm gonna put a hole in the shirt beautiful almost dropped it Wow, look at that. Stanley Cup Champions 2020. Except this one's like athletic sportswear. Like it's super fucking soft material, you know what I mean? So it's actually 100% polyester. So that's when you know it's good. Polyester is low-key the best out there. But yeah, yo, fuck cotton. Me and my homies hate cotton. Polyester gang, baby. No, but there's that. I actually have this shirt from last year's edition. Look at that. <laughs> It's the same thing, pretty much. So they're both 100% polyester, and it's just 2019, 2020. Some of you may ask, why do I have this? My grandma sent it to me, because if you've watched me long enough, you know that I have family from Missouri, thus making me a Chiefs fan for, you know, my whole life. But uh, yeah, my grandma sent me that a while ago, so no, I, I don't ever wear it, but you know, it's fun to have. So there's the side-by-side -side, 2019, 2020. There you go, baby. See you when the next package gets here. What's up? Back at it again with some packages. Just got this one from eBay and I am stoked about this one. So let's get into it. That's right, baby, three by five flag fucking huge 2020 stanley cup champs let me just do a quick inspection I man it's it's always hard to tell with these things which are replicas and which are actually like the officially licensed stuff to be honest though it looks great so i don't care what it is i'm just happy to get that i have uh as you can see up here saturdays are for the boys but i didn't buy that my mom did for me so you know, a lot of people, you know, when they come to my room, they're like, oh my God, you're such a stereotypical white piece of shit. It's like, no, bro, I, I, I didn't get that, man. The ladies, they fucking hate this shit, dude. So, you know, if I'm, if I'm ever snapping some, some bitch and they're like, they see this flag, it's just an instant turn off because they think I'm just another Caleb that goes fishing every day with the Bass Pro hat and talks about politics all the time. So, you know, that's not really me. So, you know, <laughs> you get a little replacement going. Anyways, we got one more thing here. I think what I'm looking for is in here. I'm not too sure. My, uh, my grandma who sent me this package, so it wasn't a purchase talked about her in the last clip told you how she's from Missouri so she sends me stuff yes yes there's a reason I wore this hat right here okay you can see it it is 2019 AFC West Champions hat basically this is now four years in a row that I've actually had my grandma get me this so there it is this is the 2020 AFC West Champions hat she was telling me it was a little bit harder to find this year because apparently not as many stores in Missouri are ordering these because it's really not a big deal anymore because well the Chiefs pretty much own the AFC West so I'm gonna try this thing on there we go there we go I actually really like this one you know the one the one thing that I would have changed about it was actually put 2020 on it somewhere it does not say 2020 on it I have a good football memory so you know I'll remember but this thing is sick look at it man just go over it there's the design of it just afc west division champions it's actually pretty cool this year the chiefs won the division in miami with a win against the dolphins i was there patrick mahomes the entire team they walked out of the stadium with this hat unfortunately they don't give away the hats to the fans so you know i had to wait a couple more weeks to get mine but i was in the uh, same stadium at the same time that Patrick Mahomes and the rest of the team received these so pretty cool you know what i'm saying there's that and one more thing that she threw in this package that I'm going to go ahead and show you because it's funny. That's right. She sent me these too. The Mahomes Magic Cereal. I still have last year's. Uh, this was the first release of it when it you know, first blew up. This actually expired in August. So I guess I'm just keeping this in the box forever. You know, good to get a replenish. Have some more of that 
cereal, baby. Mahomes magic crunch. This stuff's pretty good, so eat it up. <laughs> See when the next package gets here. So as I'm editing this video, I realized that I didn't show you this. I never made a video on it, so I'm just gonna show you really quickly. Got this at Dick's Sporting Goods. You know I've been loving this reverse retro collection, baby. So this is just a beanie, right? Bro, it's Florida. I never wear beanies, right? I only own like two other beanies and they're both cheap. So I didn't have a lightning beanie, right? Say I wanna go to a, a game in Canada one of these years and it's a cold day. Well, perfect, right? I mean, I'm gonna wear this maybe one time a year, if that. But, you know, if I'm going to get a lightning beanie, it, it, I want it to be the reverse retro because this is like my favorite branding ever. So anyways, man, you know, this is the front. It's got that secondary logo right there. And then on the back, it's got just this NHL logo there. So this is just sick. I wanted to show you that. I got this one a few days ago, but uh, I should probably put on some different attire for it. That was probably one of the worst transitions I've ever done. But anyways, yes, the 14 inch Stanley Cup replica. I mean, look, man, I, they don't they don't make full on like Stanley Cup replicas because they're huge and they're heavy. So it's understandable. You know what I mean? But you know what? This is fine. You know, it's a good size. It's not like, you know, obviously real Stanley Cup size, but it's, it's still cool. Uh, it actually comes with these stickers here. So. I mean, pretty much every team that's won a cup, and I don't care about any of those teams except for the one that I've already put on it. I put the lightning sticker on there. Uh, you know, I should have got a second one, you know, since we've won two cups, but uh, that'd kind of be excessive spending, so yeah, no. But I, you know, I'm happy to get this. Uh, the first thing I did when I got home with this was I poured a Pepsi in it and drank out of it. Just like having this thing by my side, you know? Put it up on my computer desk, stare at it. It's a nice addition. I think it's, I think it's sick. Carried around like a little toddler or something. It's, it's like a child, no, but obviously, you know, I lift it up, I like a player, but it's not even close to the same size. It's cool though, it's cool to have. This is the largest one that they sold, so pretty much it. Here's my Stanley Cup. See when the next thing gets here. All right, just got this thing in the mail here. Part of the reverse retro collection. Just a pin it there. It's got a coupon on the back, it's nice. Cool. Yep. There you go. I have something special in store for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Just got this package in the mail. This is a rare find that was pretty pricey, but the circumstances are right. And I'll get into that after I show you what is in this package. Uh oh, fancy. Okay. Okay. Dude really wrapped it well, didn't he? It's a jersey. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Okay. Look at this. Yep, I, I finally got it. This is one of the few raised jerseys that I did not have. I finally have it. I'm so stoked about it. <sighs> so this is it right here, Devil Rays. This is from the late 90s. The Rays wore these from 1998 to 2000. So they wore these jerseys for only three seasons, but they are very, very popular in sports culture. Very popular. People who aren't even Rays fans will wear the Devil Ray hat. No, everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of baseball fans, you know, regardless of what team you support, you like the Devil Rays jerseys because they're just that, they're just that cool. I mean, there nobody, no sports team ever has just had rainbow colors as their like primary set. What was the cost of this? It was steep. It was steep. It was, it was a total of two hundred and fifty dollars. So. Not, you know, a price I'd like to pay very often for one item, but right circumstances, right? These jerseys are hard to find in the first place. So that was the first, okay, I'll look into it. The second thing was the fact that, look at this, the tag is still on it. So, I mean, this is brand new, even though they sold these in like the 90s. The third thing, and what sold me on it was the fact that it was a size 40, which is my size. And size 40s are not that common, but the fact that it was a 40, new with tags, and it was already rarefied in the first place, yeah, I had to get it. Now, this jersey here, right? Yeah, that's sick. We can't, we can't lie. Yeah, this is this is made by Russell Athletic, man. You could just see the the quality. Look at all that stitching, man. It's just these these jerseys are just so nice. Right. So where where was I? The Rays, right? For the first season, they wore these patches. The 1998 inaugural season side patch, and that is that makes it even more rare in a way. 
because not every black jersey you find has this patch. A lot of them just have the alternative logo Devil Ray patch on the, on the sleeve instead of the inaugural patch. But I thought the inaugural patch made it even cooler, to be honest. I'd prefer that one over the, the alternate logo one just because it's such, I, I just think it's a much cooler uh, addition to the jersey. So there it is, man. I'm going to go ahead and try this on. So here we go. This is the jersey. And as you can see, fits like a charm. I, I do have the other two jerseys that the Rays wore in the 90s right here for comparison because I now have all three of them and I'm very proud of it. it. Took me three or four years, but it finally happened. As you can see, this is the home jersey right here from 98 to 2000. This is the away jersey. You can see it says Tampa Bay instead of Devil Rays on it from, again, 98 to 2000. And then the one I'm wearing here is the original Devil Rays alternate jersey from the same years. <laughs> so uh, one more thing as I was talking about the patch, uh, this is what the patch looked like after 1998. It was just the alternate logo. It just says Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Nothing much to it, uh, except for this one. It's, it's the inaugural season patch. That's the only difference on the patches between the three. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this because these jerseys here, all three of them, not very common. Pretty pretty hard to come across so the fact that i was able to finally get all three you know i'm pretty stoked about that you know i'm i am a huge race fan so anyways man that's gonna end off this video on a high note i appreciate you for sticking through the compilation of this video and uh i guess with that being said man i will catch you probably next year when i've put another compilation together make sure you subscribe like, comment, share with your friends via Twitter, MySpace, Instagram, Snapchat, Black People Meet, everything, man. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.